hello friends uh, so i'm basically recording this video now uh, to discuss about a area in your cost and management accounting uh, this though being a, a very insignificant area it is very important from an exam point of view so in your chapter cost accounting system uh, there is a small area which focuses on reconciliation of profits so i'm basically recording this video to make you understand how do we go about reconciliation of profits in a simple way now as far as reconciliation of profits is concerned see basically there are uh, two methods of maintaining your cost accounting system uh, the first method is basically your integrated method and the second is your non integrated method so if you look at here uh, the chapter 7 which talks about cost accounting system we have a non integrated accounting system wherein costing records are maintained maintain separately and financial records are maintained se separately the second method is basically integrated system wherein both the sets of accounts are maintained together now the reconciliation of profits is basically in a scenario where you maintain separate books of accounts so when we maintain separate books of accounts the profit under cost accounting system and the profit under financial accounting system may not be same and there will be difference in profit these differences can be because of multiple reason for example an item like interest interest is recorded in financial books but it is not recorded in costing books so items like interest income tax notional rent a notional rent is an item which can be recorded in cost accounting records but not recorded in financial accounting records now what we do in a reconciliation is we start with one method and then try to get the profit under the other method so the question will give you the profit under one method and then will give you a lot of adjustments what we are basically required to do is find out what needs to be added what needs to be deducted now in order to help you do that i am going to take you through a very simple format this is a eight column format which can easily help you in identifying what needs to be added to reconcile and what needs to be deducted to reconcile your profits the format is this the eight columns which you use is serial number item uh, figure as per ending book and figure as per starting book that is my i can start with cost accounting i can also start with financial accounting and then reconcile the profit as per the other method so in the uh, in this uh, format the column 3 is basically figure as per ending book and the column 4 is figure as per starting book apart from this these four columns differences debit credit action difference i'll take you through directly all of this with a problem so that you understand how do we go about solving a question so i'll explain you now with a problem all of this so uh, let me take you through a question so i'll let's go to cost accounting system this is basically from my revision material which i have circulated to you guys or where the link was provided in my earlier video so from the revision material let's pick up one question and then try to reconcile so let's take up this question number 3 so wherein r limited had showed a net loss of 35400 as per the cost accounts however in financial accounts they are disclosing a profit of 67800 now there are so many items which are given in this question and they finally ask a reconciliation statement by taking costing net loss as the base so the starting is costing and the ending will be financial so i'll first take you through the format serial number item which causes the difference so whatever item is causing the difference third column is figure as per end book so we are going to end in this question with financial book so figure as per financial book figure as per cost book that will be your column 4 then you have difference debit slash credit action and amount i'll explain all this eight columns as i do this so let me call this as financial book the column 3 and column 4 is cost book so these are the broad columns which you are going to use and i'll explain all of this with the example so let's first take an example of depres uh, let's take an example of dividend received i'll come to 1 2 3 in some time let's first take a simple example so item number 1 dividend received 
Now, dividend received will basically be recorded only in financial accounts and it is not recorded in costing. So, in financial, the figure is 20,000. In costing, the figure is 0. The difference is basically the difference between column 3 and column 4. That is 20,000 minus 0. You are not required to write the amount here. You are just required to write the sign, whether it is plus or minus. So, 20,000 minus 0 is plus 20,000. So, you will put only a plus here. 20,000 minus 0 is basically a plus. Debit slash credit, debit represent minus, credit represent plus. So, dividend received is basically an income item or a credit item. So, this will be plus. Now, action is column 5 into column 6. That is difference whatever sign is there, debit credit whatever sign is there. So, plus into plus is plus. And amount will be the difference between column 3 and column 4. You only write the amount here. You don't bother about sign. So, I'll explain this adjustment again. We started with dividend received. The figure as per financial book was 20,000. The figure as per costing book was 0. So, the difference between these is a plus, plus 20,000. So, we have written difference as plus. It's a credit item. So, plus, plus into plus is plus and the amount is 20,000. Now, what does this mean is in my final reconciliation, dividend received will be added. That is how you identify plus or minus item. Let's do few more items. Next is loss due to obsolescence. So, item 2, loss due to obsolescence. Now, this has been charged in financial account 16800. Costing, it will not be there, 0. 16800 minus 0 is plus. Loss is a debit item. So, it is minus. Plus into minus is minus. And 16800 minus 0 is 16800. So, this item is going to be deducted when I do my reconciliation. Whereas, the first item is going to be added. It's very important thing are these three columns. How you do your column 5, column 6 and column 7. Column 5 is basically difference between column 3 and column 4. And you just write the sign. Either it's plus plus. Or minus in debit slash credit either you write plus for credit items or minus for debit items and then you multiply it and then come to the amount column so I'll now take you through the other items income tax provided now the figure in financial is 43600 costing is 0 43600 minus 0 is plus debit slash credit is minus action is going to be plus into minus minus so you do plus into minus you basically get a minus the amount is 43600 now fourth item is bank interest bank interest credited in financial the figure which you take is 13600 costing it will be zero the difference is plus it's a credit item. So, it will become plus. Plus into plus is plus. And the final amount is 13,600. So, this amount will be added in my reconciliation statement. Next item is opening stock. So, opening stock. In financial, 1,45,000. In costing, 1,65,000. 145 minus 165 is minus minus 20 so we are just writing minus opening stock is debited so again it is minus minus into minus is plus so this item needs to be added in our reconciliation the amount will be the difference which is 20,000 so in last column you write the amount in the fifth column you write only the sign difference between the two amounts and you write either a plus or a minus next sixth item Closing stock. Now, closing stock, the figure in financial is 1,32,000. Costing is 125,500. Difference is plus. This is a credit item. Plus into plus is plus. And the difference between these two is 6,500. I go to the seventh item which is goodwill, 
goodwill has been written off in financial which is 25000 0 25000 minus 0 is plus this is a debit item so minus plus into minus is minus and the difference is 25000 like this we go on we can keep doing any item notional rent which is charged only in costing zero in financial costing is 60,000 difference is minus rent is a debit item minus minus into minus becomes plus and the amount is 60,000 very simple you find out the sign and then you find out the difference and then that item will get either added or deducted in the end provision for doubtful debt so provision for doubtful debt so let's take this item financial 15,000 costing is zero difference is plus debit or credit is a minus item so this will become minus and the amount is 15,000 now I had not done few items so let's discuss them also the first three items like 10th 11th and 12th which is admin over its factory over it and depreciation now uh, there is a concept of absorption which is there as far as costing is concerned in financial you don't have a concept of under absorption over absorption so in order to do this very simple thing in financial we will end up writing a zero for all these three items I'm going to write a zero we don't know the amount so it's a notional amount let's write zero first item under recovered so costing the amount is going to be lower under recovered 25500 so minus 25500 it's going to be lower than your financial accounts in financial it can be 2 lakh rupees costing can be 1 lakh 74 500 we don't know the amount in financial we need not even find it out so let's take it as zero and in costing it's going to be 25500 less so it's minus 25500 similarly factory over it it is more 135000 additional over recovered third item depreciation under charge so lower minus 26000 so zero minus of minus 25500 zero minus of minus 25500 is plus so this is plus admin over it is an debit item plus into minus is minus and the amount is 25500 similarly factory over it 0 minus 135 is minus it's a debit item minus into minus is plus and then you get a difference of 135000 depreciation 0 minus of minus 26 is plus debit or credit is a minus item and the action is minus and then you get an amount of 26,000 now this is what we are required to find out what needs to be added what needs to be deducted after identifying this we will have to put it in the reconciliation so I'll just quickly close that so the starting part was net loss as per costing we started with costing so the net loss in the costing was 35400 so minus 35400 add items to be added so we will add all those items so there are of the 12 items some of the items needs to be added so I'll let me just find those items and quickly we capture them so these are the items which needs to be added so I'm just mentioning all of them dividend received bank interest opening stock closing stock notional rent factory over it whatever the sign which we had got there and I'm writing those amounts here so these items needs to be added in my reconciliation the total of all of this is then we will have to find out items to be deducted all of this is going to come from your reconciliation items to be deducted so what you do is you go back here and find out whatever are the minus item so I'll capture all the minus items now these minus items have to be deducted once we deduct minus items we will get the profit as per the other system 
so i have deducted all of this so the total of this is 151900 and you get the profit as per financial book which is we started with a loss of 35400 added 255100 and subtracted 151900 which is what is given in the equation the other book is showing a profit of 67800 so the other book is showing a profit of 67800 now i'll just quickly summarize it again basically you find the item which is causing the difference write the value as per financial book then the value as per cost book financial minus the cost book only the sign 20,000 minus 0 plus 16,800 minus 0 plus 43,600 minus 0 plus 13,600 minus 0 plus 145 minus 165 is minus so only the sign is written if it's a credit item it is plus if it's a debit item it is minus action is this into this plus into plus plus into minus minus into minus and then you write the amount after noting this you go through the reconciliation and check whether the profits is matching so with that i'll end the video you guys can let me know your comments or any suggestions for improvement so that i can factor it in my next video 